It is a gnat in here. I'm happy. Leave me alone. Previous vlog with Peyton. Okay. Is it true that he really escaped? <laughs> it's, it's given a uh, Shawshank redemption. Okay, Shawshank. What are you, what are you so afraid of? Yeah, it's like super noticeable when you scream record somebody somebody else's vlog oh you watch glamazon okay i used to edit for real yeah i don't need to see what i'm capable of doing in the bedroom I definitely go and check out that vlog if you're interested in maintenance week and maintenance vlogs and things like that it's some new things that you guys can try out if you ever come to dallas and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on okay i know you've heard me rant and rave about my silk pillowcase from blissy and i want to thank them for sponsoring today's video but as you can see they don't just have pillowcases they have a variety of different products in silk that you can purchase but let's talk more about this silk pillowcase now I have one in white and I also have one in rose gold pink. You guys know I love my silk pillowcase because I feel like it helps my skin but I don't want you to be alarmed because this comes in a variety of colors so you will definitely be able to get a silk pillowcase that matches your bedroom decor. Blessy's pillowcase can improve your hair. It reduces hair breakage by up to 43% while you sleep due to its smooth surface but it can also improve your skin. Blissey's silk fibers are less absorbent than those of cotton, allowing your skin to retain more moisture. But it also regulates temperature if you like to sleep on the cool side of the pillowcase. It's moisture wicking, non-toxic, and Blissey has earned high praise from Good Housekeeping, Oprah's Old Magazine, Allure, Glamour, and more. There are several reasons why Blissey is the most popular pillowcase in the world. All you have to do to get your pillowcase is go to blissy.com backslash Peyton or just click the link below and you will get an additional 30% off your order and free worldwide shipping. That's B-L-I-S-S-Y dot com backslash Peyton or just click the link below. The code is automatically applied at checkout for an additional 30% off. Thanks again to Blissy for sponsoring today's video. 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? Early, baby, later, you can show me me. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy city, blow me kisses, oh. 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me down. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza. Elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Finally got you out my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. Ooh, hey, sending you one text at a time. Know you by your phone, but boy, pick up your line. I, I, I ain't too proud to say so. What's been said has been said. Ooh, and I need you to know. You don't know what love is. I need you to know. Mm -hmm. You don't know, and you don't know what love is If you don't put up a fight And you don't know what love is If you don't stay up all night Boy, you don't know what 
Hi. Hey, y'all. Good morning. I'm in a good mood and stuff. Yesterday, I was a little sad. Yesterday, I was a little sad. Y'all wanna know why? Cause, um, I'm still swelling up. And yesterday, I just felt really ugly. Like, I have those moments. I do. Oh, oh, this hand wash smells so good. It is the Byredo Rose hand wash. I also got this hand cream. I don't like it. I should have got the, the, the hand cream in rose because um I, I don't really like this. This is the vetiver. I don't really like it. It, it's not doing it for me. Anyway, though, I just had my morning breakfast. And um, I had French toast with strawberries, with squawberries, and coffee. French vanilla coffee at that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, girl, yesterday I was like so swollen. And I had went to get a uh, radio frequency. Um, so it can like help with the inflammation and I think it did. I definitely think it did I also went to see my dermatologist because this incision that the doctor made um, to get the cannula in Through my neck. It's starting to keloid So I got a steroid shot in there and I just had him look at the areas that are inflamed under my chin And he said he thinks it's my lymph nodes. So um, That really like made me want to come home and go ahead and start taking my antibiotics for my skin um i've already finished my um antibiotics for my actual procedure but my dermatologist have me on amoxicillin for my acne so i started that yesterday and i have one breakout so i'm not even gonna pop it i'm gonna put a little patch over it y'all know i'm notorious for wearing my patches out and about i mean that's what they for if you leave them on for three days it say leave them on for three days if you leave them on as instructed what are you supposed to do just stay in the house no you're supposed to wear them out i mean it's they're transparent so i mean unless you all in my face in my business it shouldn't matter to you what i got on my face it's just a little sticker they should make them in the shape of a heart so people won't be so bothered bad but I don't really have anybody that says anything to me, but they work. They actually like um, contain the bacteria. And when you pull it off after three days, it literally just pulls the pus right out of the pore. It'd be like a little ball. And then I cover it again with another patch to allow the pore to close and heal for another three days. And then after I take it off, um, it's just like a little red mark. It don't even turn into a dark spot. It literally stays red for about two weeks and then it changes back to its normal skin color. So I highly recommend those. You can get them in any brand. Panoxyl, in my opinion, has the best ones, but you can get them from anywhere. And they really, really work. They keep you from popping your pimples because I cannot do it. But anyway, yeah, um, I'm about to take my medicine now because you have to take it with food. And then I want to go get an IV. I want to go get a vitamin D shot and an IV today. I have to go to Nordstrom's because I got an email that I, uh, my other stuff that I ordered online is ready for pickup. Um, I could have had it delivered, but since I have people in my neighborhood that steal my mail when I'm uh, away from home, um, if I know that I'm going to order stuff and I'm not going to be at home, then I just... I just said it to for me to pick it up in store so I do have to pick up some things from Nordstrom's and then I also need to go to Sephora because I have a <clears throat> a campaign that I'm a part of so I have to film a get ready with me so I'm going to do my first chit chat get ready with me so um they sent me um my stipend if you will to go and purchase all of the items that i will need to do the video um and it is a sponsor video so yay it's my first sephora sponsorship i'm happy girl i be doing big things with no manager i'm so proud of myself i really be scared to sign with people though honestly because like i don't know i don't want to give people too much control over my life you know what i'm saying 
<clears throat> I feel like if I got a manager, I feel like I have a boss. And I don't like that. Sometimes I want one and then sometimes I'm happy to be doing it on my own. Anyway, yeah. That is on the agenda today. And we're also going to go to uh, Pressed Roots and get a silk blowout in a steam condition um, on my natural hair. Because... I told y'all I just recently cut off all of the relaxed hair so yeah I'm really trying to maintain my natural hair under my wigs more um because it's it's really beautiful you know what I'm saying 4C hair is really really beautiful um and strong it's just thinning so I want to start treating it better um like literally treating it better because one day I'm probably just gonna do away with wigs. It won't be anytime soon, but maybe one day. <sighs> oh, this uncomfortable. This ain't. She be good to me, then I'ma be great to you. Look at them hips. If you stay down and meet it, I would have for you surprise. But I'm coming to, um, yeah, it's probably tomorrow. Oh, my sister has to get my hair done. I'm coming probably tomorrow because I'm flying from work. I mean, to work from Dallas. I already bought my flight from Dallas. Okay. So definitely, I mean. Am I going to know. see you? But of course. Okay, I'm gonna put my clothes out. I'm gonna put, put my outfits out like it's the new, uh, like uh, first day of school. <laughs> I want to go to that damn. Which you just came, but I, I really want to go to that little spa place that you and Heaven went to. They do like the baths and all that. Mm -hmm, I'll take you. I ain't got no problem going again. Yes, child. Please, I need. I need somebody to just bathe me, please. Girl, anything off of me, please. Let's, let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> what you doing? I am getting ready to go pick up some stuff from Nordstrom's and um, then going. To, I got a DV, I got a deal. I got a Sephora deal, girl. I'm so proud of myself. Period. 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 Oh, uh, it's gonna be a chit chat. Get ready with me. So, <clears throat> it, it, I ain't filmed That's yet. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. The no people. manager. No the manager. Are coming. No manager on that motherfucking ass. You hear me? No manager. Who needs a manager? Who needs a manager? Who? Who needs you to manage? Been doing it. I've been doing it for a long motherfucking time. Been doing it. You hear me? Been doing it. <laughs> <Period>. <laughs> And the girl sent me some good old topics to discuss. Oh, okay. And what was the topics? Um, toxic relationships. I was gonna post something, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let the PayPal take this one. <laughs> toxic, <laughs> toxic relationships. Um. Uh, how to how to let go when you're still in love with him? Ooh, I said that. I was like, ooh, that's a real good one. Um, right. I think somebody asked um, how to break it off when the sex good. I said, ooh, that's a good one too. Shoot. <laughs> this shit have a hold on you, bitch. <laughs> ooh, ain't nothing like being digmatized, child. Help us, ooh, help us, Lord. Baby. Help us, God. Help us right now. Help us. <laughs> Help us right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are good topics. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Those are good juicy topics. Very. And then um, it was so the people questions. are definitely gonna be tuned in. Yeah. Did somebody ask about dating a celebrity child? I had to think. Mm. I had to think back. Do basketball players uh, are are they considered celebrities? Yes, they are. They are. Uh, Cause I was gonna say no, I ain't. Yeah. They are? Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. mm. So we can talk about that. First up on the list, we're going to pick up my order from Nordstrom's. I'm going to try to have the tunnel vision and not look at any other shoes in the shoe department because I'm coming in through the shoe department. I shouldn't have, but I did. 
So I'm gonna try to keep keep my eyes straight. Cause I have a, a, a shoe addiction. It's bad. It's real bad. Actually, what I'm getting ready to pick up is two pair of shoes. Then after that, we gonna go to Sephora. You know what's dangerous? Going in this side of Nordstrom's where when you walk in, you right there where the men's cologne is. Oh, baby, that's dangerous. Yeah, you pulling out that phone about to text somebody, W-Y-D. Excuse me, sir, can I see you tonight? Um, I'm lonely. Real bad. Okay, super bad. Then hold it up for me. Look at you. Thank you. Yep. Let me hold it up for you. You got it? Oh, I got it. Thank you. Oh my God, this is my song. In the morning light, I'm up. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing to see slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she got a choice She been coming to a rider It's that roll myself a J and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sit for shit If I catch you nodding off, then it's gon' be some shit so glad when my car come shit i'm so sick of getting gas in this hundred degree weather i don't know what to do i always ask y'all to remind me to get some gas remind me to get some gas we're gonna have to take um all of these Sephora products in the that don't make no sense that's how hot it is that's how hot it is outside when you go shopping whatever you buy you got to take it in with you baby you got to take it in with you i be walking <laughs> I'm walking around Target with a Sephora bag. They know ain't no Sephora in there. I look like a thief. No, it's too hot outside to leave my products in the car. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have my cream products melt just because uh, this ain't your store. It is a gnat in here. I'm happy. Leave me alone. Ooh, I'm so excited. My golden girl coming tomorrow. Y'all, I'm so excited. Cynthia coming tomorrow. I'd be so happy to see my golden girl. Hey, how you doing? I brought gifts. No, I'm just, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's too hot to leave it in the car. I, 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 I went on a haul. that I grabbed the battery that only got like two notches of energy on it. But, um, so I, in a private room here, it's really nice. You can do couples. It's another one right here. It's another seat. Mm -hmm. You can come with me and we can do couples and talk and whatever. Get ID. And these are massage chairs. Well, they, almost, they ain't massage chairs, but they're recliners. They come with the USB cord. So you can be on your phone and keep it charged. But yeah, so I went with the repair and rebuild. She said that this one is specifically for um, if you like just recently had surgery. Um, it has magnesium in it um, and all of the nutrients and vitamins that will help 
tissue healing and promote like speedy recovery i'm so glad i asked about that they're very knowledgeable here so whatever you want um instead of like looking at the menu and trying to like decide which vitamins you need tell them which what, what you got going on in your life so they can tell you which one to do you know what i'm saying like if you got the sniffles say i got the sniffles okay well you need the immune immune booster um and then i added uh glutathione because it helps with dark spots um it's just really good for the skin and then i also added a vitamin d shot um because that's good for um, when you have <clears throat> a vitamin D deficiency like myself and you can get vitamin D shots once a week so if you have a deficiency instead of trying to take the vitamins and stuff like that you can always just um, hey Hello, how are you, doing? you can always just get a shot yeah it is running really good I didn't even feel it Thank you. it's a compliment right that is a compliment no, I, yeah it's a compliment I didn't even feel the liquid Nothing. go in yeah I like that because I don't really like feeling the IV either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, water and freezing. Right. Yeah. Now, there was thing over there. There was this report for driving this morning on the radio. Uh, they were saying how like the Earth is one degree from like just. Exploding, dying, you know, just really, yeah, yeah. When one degree, if it goes up in temperature, the whole world, one, one degree up, it's game over, mm. you know, yeah. So, the scientists are like urging the government to do something, change something, like they're protesting, all kinds of stuff. And we don't even hear about that. No, of stuff. no, just go with it. Man, there's it's everywhere, everywhere. That's scary, yeah, that's scary. One degree, one degree, up, boom, done. And this is in relation to global warming? Exactly. Okay, all done. I don't know what it is about an IV that immediately makes me sleepy. My eyes are so freaking heavy right now. Do I, do I look high? <laughs> Chai, my eyes are so heavy right now, y'all. I am so sleepy. But I'm doing good time. It's 5.32. Um, I have my my uh, silk blowout is at 6 o'clock. So we're doing good time. Damn, I wish I could drink this water, but I read that you're not supposed to drink a bottle of water that's been sitting in the car in the heat because um, the plastic melts a little bit and the particles get inside of the water that can cause cancer. Ain't that some bullshit? Well, why even put the fucking water in a plastic bottle any damn way? Like, make it make sense. I just don't understand how shale gas is so high yet they still don't have the little thing where you could just wave your phone or your card um for apple pay i, I just don't understand it like why is y'all wow i had three batteries in my purse interesting well, we're gonna, we're gonna have to see how many of these full because I need juice for my for my blowout. Man, I just seen a girl. I'm gonna keep that sanitizer out because we about to touch this pump. I just seen a girl riding in her car with the windows down. Oh, I remember those days. I remember those days. Picture it, Memphis. 1993 riding in a 93 Camaro Hunter Green beige interior leather somehow air steel went out I don't know my grandma would take us and it had t-tops she wouldn't even take the t-tops off maybe she ain't know how to take them off I don't know but baby when I tell you it get hot in Memphis like it get hot in Texas some days I felt like she was trying to kill us Some days I did. She's trying to kill me. Cause it was dead hot. Like grandma, raise the window down. I know the windows work.
I am about to go have lunch. Good afternoon, y'all. I'm about to go have lunch, and then I have to um, go up to BMW to get my car price. Frank literally just called me and told me that um, my car is being shipped next week. So I got these Hirachi Nikes in the Nordstrom sale. I think they were on sale for like 100 which is really good. I've been wanting these, so I'm just going to throw these on today with my little Shein activewear set. And then I'm going to try my new perfume that I got from Twisted Lily. They sent over a few new fragrances. I'm not putting socks on with these, by the way. Look, they look cute. They look cute with no socks and they comfortable. It's National Mango Day today, so I am going to wear my new fragrance, Mango Skin Eau de Parfum by Wilhelm Parfumery, New York. So let me just finish putting my shoes on and then we're going to try out this fragrance and see what it's like. Mango is fruity. You guys know I don't care for fruity feminine scents. I like smelling like a boss. I like smelling like... Oh, man. But we gonna get this world. If it's too fruity, then I'm just going to combo it with something that I feel would pair with it well um, to tone down the fruit. But let's give it a whirl first before I um, just completely rule out the fruit in the mango scent. Okay, so this is the box. How it comes pretty and this is the bottle wow that is interesting okay definitely fruity definitely fruity Fruity and flirty. I'm just gonna spray it. Let me see. What what will this mix well with? It's fruity, but it's like it's good. If you a fruit girl, it's good. It's it's really good all by itself. First impression, this is really good all by itself. It's fruity and flirty and feminine. Me, I'm going to spice it up a little bit and layer it with, I feel like this will layer good with a Tiziani Terenzi's Rosso Pompeii or mm, even Baccarat, definitely Baccarat, and even Zerjov, even Zerjov Cambridge Club. I had already kind of had in mind to combo this with Zerjov Cambridge Club, so this is what I might do, or Torino 21, honestly. So that's what I might do. I'm going to go upstairs and layer there because girl right now I smell like a uh, bootylicious bubblegum. So you guys know that I am partnered with Twisted Lily. So I will leave a link in the description box. And you guys can use my code Peyton10 to get 10% off this purchase if you like fruity scents. You know what You know what this remind me of? This remind me of Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb Nectar. It's sweet like that. Oh, this is good, but instead of like the, um, I'm going to say instead of the raspberry that you smell in Victor and Roth Flower Bomb Nectar, the mango, it, it's, it's like mango instead of the raspberry. Is that the word? Yeah, it's mango. It's, yeah, yeah. It's good. I'm definitely going to layer it with something else though. So let's go to the side. Okay, so this is a male scent. To unisex it up, I'm going to use this Valentino born in Oma. So spice it up a little bit. I, I probably should have did back it up. Oh, well. Oh, these Hirachis are so freaking comfortable. Jeez. Okay, so there's this restaurant called Dahlia on Fridays. 
they have 25 cent martinis espresso martinis included so we could go have lunch okay girl one of the paypals sent me some press on nails to match my um nail set look because you know i got this broken nail and it's looking really tacky that is so cool it's called epitome nails at epitome nails on instagram it says hey Peyton, here is the replacement i promise you i think you're a size seven or eight but i included a six just in case think of this as a fancy band-aid i tried to get it as close as possible she did so good look at it wow this literally is a perfect freaking match she is so freaking bomb okay so i'm gonna have to go soak this nail today so when i go out because cynthia want to like be outside this weekend and i don't want to be outside with you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go soak this off after i eat and go to bmw and then we'll come back and put the press on on um, i just love y'all y'all so innovative i love me a good old boss ass paypal period hoes okay so my garbage people out there i can't move yet okay so i just made reservations at dahlia so when i get up there they won't be acting funny with me talking about do you have a reservation da -da 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 -da. Cause I know the whole 20, 25 cent martini thing is a vibe, okay? Where is my winky looks? Don't tell me I done lost it again. Oh. I was just about to say, y'all, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this, 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 this fruit. I smell real fruity. I don't know how to feel about it. All right, let's get it going. I sent you say let's get it going let's get it going um yeah i smell very beachy i feel like fruity floral feminine scents like this is like great for vacations i smell very beachy right now you know what i'm saying i smell like you know real edible <laughs> real edible speaking of edible did y'all see that i'm like literally down to my last on both the karma sutra body scrub and the vetiver so late body scrub baby let me tell you before every before your sneaky link you need to use that body scrub i'm telling you i'm telling you he gonna be telling you you taste good over and over again y'all know i don't steer y'all wrong now y'all know this you know i don't steer you wrong it's friday you fit to be outside it's hot it's a different kind of heat baby you need to make sure that thing tastes good down there hold on are you delivering some let me hold on let me let me let me stop you because i i done already told your ass to stop throwing stuff over my fence i'm watching you i'm watching you haven't haven't we talked before uh -huh. we don't talk before right yeah. we don't talk before uh -huh. okay yeah so, okay. I, yeah, I always try to get some of stuff. Like if it's something big, though, I'll take it to the back. Yeah, okay. Uh, to the garage, though. Okay. Oh, honey, my face. And you took my hands to the ocean. Every second, every minute, man, I swear. Every second, every minute, man, I swear. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Every, every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands on glow i think it's the liquid collagen i'm loving it okay so the food was really good um the espresso martini although very strong it had an acquired taste to it they made it taste a little funny like 
almost kind of like a fragrance um I don't know if it was the vodka or the coffee that they used, but in my opinion, if I was like in desperate need of an espresso martini, that would probably be the last place that I go just because theirs tastes funny. It just, I don't know, but the food was really good. I thought that was an interesting pair to um, pair a black salmon over white rice with like mangoes and avocados and all these different um onions and stuff with breakfast potatoes i thought that that was a very interesting pair two carbs with a protein i guess but anyway i'm headed over to bmw now i have a, an appointment at 2 15 i'm gonna be late that's because it took them so long to bring my food y'all dahlia oh my god that wait time for your food is insane and it wasn't nobody in there so I'm giving it's, it. It was given like like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna make it racial, but yeah, it took like maybe 25, 30 minutes for my food to come out. The wait time on the food was that was very subpar, but the food was good. The drink was okay. Um, I've only been to Dalio one time before, and I only had like drinks and like their ravioli. So this was like the first time I actually had an entree. It was good, but the wait time on the food made me feel like, like what do y'all do when it's busy? Cause that was like lunchtime and nobody was in there. It was literally like a few people. Nobody was in there. Oh, hey, is this live? Yep. <laughs> no, not live. It's just recording. It's You'll recording? be on there a few days later. <laughs> Y'all come and see wanna, Frank. You want to take a picture of a guy that's a lot older than me? Joe. <laughs> and so, oh, now it's good to see you. Good to see you too. I think you're getting prettier with eight. I just love Frank. He's so sweet. He's such a sweet man. All right. What's this? Put the damn break up. Okay, now I'm about to head to get this nail soaked off. I know they finna be acting funny with me at this, so I might as well get my toes done while I'm at it just so they can make some money. Cause you know when you go in certain nail salons, when you want service like this, just your pinky child, they be acting like they ain't got no better to do your nails. So I might as well just go and get my toes done too while I'm at it and get like a pastel pink or something. Cause I don't, I, don't, I don't need the attitude today. I don't. Things are going good. Today is a very good day. Okay, the toes are done. We got this really cute pastel pink gel color. You know, since people so bothered about white nails these days, but I always get like a pastel pink or like a pastel yellow, pastel blues, pastel greens. I think pastels are just so cute on the toes. But if you're looking for something that will just go with every outfit, I always go with pink. And, 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 and let me just say this. It's something about a man doing your feet. Ooh. So I had called myself manifesting a man doing my feet when I watched that one movie with Sonia Lathan where she was dating that white boy and he was painting her toes. I called myself manifesting, but baby, I'm telling you, if you're not specific in your manifestations, the universe can get re real comical, okay? So, you know... I have to pay for my little foot polish and my foot rubs or whatever. But I feel like men do my feet so much better than women. I feel like men know what they want women feet to look like. So when you say you want your toenails square, straight across, they don't round it. They they follow orders. Women, it's like they don't want nobody's feet looking better than theirs. It's like when I be done, I look down at my toes and it look like somebody just stepped on my damn toes. Step on my damn toe. <laughs> my toe. For, 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 for on purpose, too. Ma'am, why my toes don't look like yours? But anyway, let me show y'all what I got at Sephora the other day. Was it yesterday? Oh, it couldn't be yesterday. It was the other day. Let me show y'all what I got. 
most of these products I picked out myself, but there are a few that were recommended by one of the Sephora um, sale essays. So I'm going to show you guys those products first, okay? And that is the Algoronic Acid and Vegan Collagen Genius um, Serum by Alginus. This he highly recommended. When he put this on my hand, my, first of all, my hands are very dry since having the spray tan. I can like really see the lines, the fine lines in my hands. When he put this on my hands, y'all, yeah, my hands were so freaking moisturized and glowy. And then he put a Gucci powder over it and the Gucci powder just like sucked it up. And I mean, you literally couldn't see any of the lines in my hands it was like literally two different people's hands because this one was like moisturized and hydrated and this one was dry so this was probably the most expensive product that i got from sephora which cost 115 dollars but it'll last you a long time and it's completely worth it y'all see this glow that i got going on today is that i also got the genius sleeping collagen this is also by alginus this is a really, really, really thick night cream. I specifically got it for my neck to keep my neck extremely hydrated because I was, you know, I told him that I just got a procedure done and I hate all of the lines in my neck. Like, I really want a neck lift. If, if we care to talk about it, I really do. But he was like, use that and it should help like plump the wrinkles in my neck and the lines. Then he also recommended a whole bunch of rose ink products. So I got this Skin Enhanced Luminous Serum. And this is a tinted serum. This shit is like literally magic. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. So as you can see, it is like a serum with these little gold balls inside, right? But when you pump it out and you rub it in, it like magic magically turns into the shade of your skin like a tinted moisturizer. So it's like a very like light luminous foundation. He said he loves this product. He recommended recommends it to all his clients. And then um I also got the foundation brush to go with it. And then I got the Solar Radiance Hydrating Cream Highlighter. This is supposed to be comparable to Becca's Champagne Pop Highlighter. You guys know Becca's no longer um, in business. They went out of business, but this is supposed to be similar to that. I loved Champagne Pop. It was like a very highly uh, duped and highly talked about makeup product back in the early 2010s um jackie jacqueline hill talked about it all the time like everybody raved about champagne pop so i got that then he also recommended that i get this sephora best skin ever foundation he swears by this he does drag on his off time and he uses this a lot when he does his makeup and he said it's it covers like you mix this with nars soft matte liquid uh foundation and he was like literally you'll look like a walking filter he also recommended the house labs by lady gaga this bronzer i got it in deep level nine it's very powder it's very velvety um and it will go on very cream like so he also recommended that and i also got the clean lash lengthening tubing mascara by merit he said that this is really good especially on days where you don't want to wear lashes this is going to tube your lashes to make them look longer and fuller so got that didn't really need a mascara child because i got so many but what else okay now we're into the products that i just grabbed for myself so i got this makeup forever 24 hour waterproof eyeliner I also got the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, party all day. Stay all day. This is, I think this is a small size. Another Charlotte Tilbury product is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion perfecting micro powder and i got it in the shade tan 
I also picked up the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Concealer. I have the foundation, but I haven't used it yet. So one of these days I plan on using it. Then I saw the Dior Forever. They have a transfer proof 24 hour foundation and I got it in the shade 4N. I matched myself. I basically matched my neck. Whatever color my neck is, that's what color I get. <sighs> And then I got some lip products. So I got Natasha Denona's I Need a New Lipstick in 1B. I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Instant Lip Plumper. I got the YSL The Slim Rouge Leather Matte Lipstick in 26 Rouge. This is like a blue base red. Then I got Makeup by Mario's Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Mocha Latte. A beauty blender. Since I had the money to spend on it, I was like, might as well. And then to finish it off, when I was in the line at the register, you know they have all those travel size products to get you to spend more money. I ended up picking up this Living Proof flex hairspray that shapes sets and finishes it's a medium hold so i got like a little bitty bottle of this because i also have another hairspray by living proof it's like a heat protectant oh i love how it smells it smells so good i love their hair products and it works so well on um extensions wigs hair weaves and stuff like that so i just picked it up because it was like 16 dollars i think so the most expensive product I got was $115 and the least expensive product I got was the hairspray which was $15. For the most part everything else was I would say super affordable. The Charlotte Tilbury was $45. Everything else was like under $30. So we love that but we needed some new makeup. We did because... Quiet as kept y'all. Don't tell nobody. Keep this a secret. Don't be going around telling my business. But a lot of my makeup products that I be using be like five or ten years old. I'm a hoarder. I don't like to waste products. When I find something I like, I keep it. I continue to use it. So I'm not talking about foundation. But like if it's a eyeliner, an eyebrow pencil a lip products or a blush nine times out of ten i probably have had it since i started youtube
Put the motherfucking rice on the grill. You got chicken, chicken, rice. We can discuss. Spicy, spicy chicken. You got wasted, right? Okay, I'll show you one more time. Okay, nice one. got these today they're cute but they're kind of annoying hard to kind of put on too when you have nails and then this two-piece set it's just like a Mugler inspired set I'm pretty sure you can find it on any Instagram boutique but who sent it to me I'm no longer working with and promoting so yeah um on the face I'm trying the Kat Von D good apple skin I don't know how I like it just yet and I'm having some breakouts so yeah that's what's going on with us well let's get it going so we're getting ready to head out it's 1 we ain't got much time but we're gonna see if we can like slide in s and s and then after that maybe do 5 a.m theater we'll go to deep Ellum. we shall see but tonight's fragrance is initio's oud for greatness i smell amazing and i don't have any deodorant let me go and put that on oh no moment though let's get it going how you say it let's get it going let's get it going let's get it going um let's go get it going let's go get it going so we're downtown right now they got a little traffic going on i don't know what's going on a little traffic but um we smelling good what you got on uh maritonka uh-huh 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 uh -huh. i already told y'all what i got on and whatnot but we're i guess we're just gonna go to deep ellum because right now like going to sns when sns closes at two would be silly yeah yeah so we're just gonna go to deep ellum because deep ellum jumps like past two we jumping past two and i know it's something going on 
in Deep Ellum because it be it's like a new spot in Deep Ellum. I just, I just don't know. Hey, Zane. Oh yeah, y'all didn't even know Cynthia was here. Cynthia here. Hi, we was at Benny Hunter earlier today because y'all know Cynthia love for some Benny Hunter child. Yes, Gotta spoil her and take her where she wants to go. And we have food to eat when we get back, so mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Them is hit different. They do. They so do. Y'all, I ain't really liking my makeup, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see how the night goes, cause I think I got the wrong color. I was really trying to match my knit. And you were probably matching your spray tan, and this probably was has you thinking that it's off because you're not used to your Uh-oh, uh, I hadn't got it yet. I hadn't got the spray tan yet when I got this. Oh, okay. What is this over here? That is the Statler's Hotel. Uh -oh. And then, yeah, I got an alien going out of my face. But luckily, my hair is covering all of that up. Plus, the good apple skin, it has really good coverage. So, yeah, but you can still see a fist trying to, like, punch his way out of my skin. Mm-hmm. We're going to call him Punch-O. They gave me two million work at the crib, y'all. Something like two city. I had to fuck up the shit with your two pretty. I bought the four wheelers, did it go pop with it. BTRC all in my brown and the snack and ain't regular, yeah. Shooting at all my competitors, yeah. CBD all in my body, I'm living, yeah. Woo! Woo! She, she was in a BMW too, so I know she got that, that sensor on her car that yeah. let her know like that you were mine. What do you think? I'm make sure this bitch ain't sit pit my back up the car. We would have felt it. And hurry. Hey, this new. What? This this scratch right here on my car new. I didn't feel her hit it or her. Huh? Let me see. Makes the fellas go. Whoa. Makes the fellas go.